Tyler here with Super ATV. Here at the shop, we receive a lot of calls daily regarding lift kits and axles. Questions like, how do I know if my axles are binding? Is this lift kit going to make my axles bind? Once I get this lift kit installed, how am I going to check to see if my axles are binding? Super ATV has over 10 years of heavy duty axle and suspension experience. We design each lift kit from our 2 inch to our 10 inch lift to put as little stress on your axles and drive terrain as possible. Not all axles have the same operating angles. We've seen some factory OEM axles only capable of 25 degrees, where some of our Rhino brand axles are capable of nearly double that. So we're going to take a look to take some of the first measures you can take to check out to see if your axles are in a bind. We're going to use this 2015 Razor S900 behind me as an example. We chose this machine because from the factory you can't add rear high clearance offset A-arms or a lift kit to this machine without adding heavy duty axles. So let's go take a look. First you will want to get your machine up off the ground using a floor jack or something like a lift we are using here. With the tire completely off the ground and the suspension at full drop, you should still be able to spin your axle freely with no issue. On this side right now we have a Rhino brand axle installed. So we're going to remove this bolt and show you. This is how you want to check your axle. You're going to remove your lower shock bolt, let your suspension fully drop. And all that's holding up this A-arm right now is your axle. There's no sway bar connected. So you should still be able to freely spin your axle if it's not binding. We're going to step over to the other side where we have an OEM axle installed and show you what happens. So on this side of the machine, we have our rear offset high clearance A-arms with stock axle, OEM Razor S shock. And you can see this axle is bound up tight. In order to even get this shock bolt out, I have to push down in order to get some pressure off that. You see when I remove that bolt, A-arm actually tries to pull back up with the, with the stock axle installed. It's because this axle is already in a bind. If I remove this out a little bit, I'll show you how much I can lift up before that stock axle starts gets free spinning again. But when I come down here, back there, like we stated in the other side, all that's holding this A-arm up is the axle right now. So now when I try to spin this at full droop, you'll see it's very hard. And every time I do that, see where it's binding up in the cup, making everything rise because it's in a serious bind. We're unsure how our competition is able to sell a lift kit without selling axles or the guys selling A-arms that aren't selling heavy duty axles with it. Because this clearly, you cannot get any lift out of this machine without adding a heavy duty axle. Check us out at superatv.com or call us at 855-743-3427.